How to make reaction rolls on Discord. Welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Discord tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily make reaction rolls for your Discord server. So someone can select a reaction just like this, and it will give them the role on your server. So this is actually really easy, and we can do it for free using a bot. And I'll show you how to set it up and customize it fully. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to my channel because that really helps me out. All right, so the first thing we need to do is simply open up Discord on our computer and navigate to the server where we want to add reaction roles. Once you've done that, open a browser on your computer and navigate to carl.gg and check the description. I'll have a link down there so you can just select that. As you can see, this is a very popular bot on Discord and it's on over 7 million servers. So I would consider it safe. Once you load carl.gg, select login with Discord. You'll need to go through the process of logging into your Discord account and then selecting the server where you want to add the Carl bot so that we can add reaction roles. So just select it. Once you do that, it'll bring up the server right here and we just need to select continue. After that, you can edit the access of the bot, but I'm just gonna leave that default and then go to the bottom and select authorize, and then just verify you're a human. All right, so once you do that, you can close your browser and then navigate to Discord, and you'll notice that your server now has the Carl bot added to it, and that lets us know we successfully connected the Carl bot to our server. The next step is going to be to create our reaction roles. We can do that by just going up next to the server name and selecting the little drop down arrow, and then going to server settings. From here, you just wanna select roles right under overview, once we're on roles, simply select create roles and we can create our first reaction role. So for this one, I'm going to name it blue and then I'm going to have the role color be blue so that the username in the server will change to blue whenever it's selected. So I'll just do this little blue right here. After that, all we need to do is select save changes and you can create as many roles as you want to. I'm gonna create a second role and I'm gonna name it yellow and then I'll select yellow right here and then select save changes. So now that we have our roles configured, select the back button and go back to the main roles page. And we just need to ensure that we move the Carl bot all the way to the top of the list of roles and then select save. And then we can close out and go back to our server here. Once you're back in your server, if you want to, you can create a new text channel for your reaction roles. I'm gonna do that just to keep it simple and then select create. And now we're ready to set up Carl bot for those reaction roles. So to do that, all we need to do is join any text channel and then type question mark reaction role space make and check the description. I'll have that down there so you can just copy and paste it. Hit enter. The Carl bot will respond and it'll ask which channel we want the message for the reaction rules to be in. So I'll, I'll add them to my reaction rules channel here. So we just type the name right there and then hit enter. And then it's going to ask us to create a title for our reaction rules. So as you can see here with these reaction rules, this just says roles. So this is the title we're gonna create. So I'm just gonna do reaction roles for my title. And then we do the line. And then we're just gonna type roles like this with the squiggly line. Hit enter. And then we can choose a color that will be next to the reaction roles. So this really doesn't matter. You can pick whatever color you want. So I'm gonna select this link. And if you open that link, it'll bring you to a page where you can find a color and then just copy the hex code, go back to Discord and paste that in and hit enter. And then it will show you an example of that with the color and the title. So now that we've created our reaction roles template, all we need to do is assign each role that we've created for reaction roles to an emoji. So I have the roles blue and yellow. So I'm first gonna find the emoji that I wanna represent that role and then space and then type the name of the role. If it returns a check mark, that means that it was successfully linked to that role. So next I'm going to do yellow and then hit enter. Once you've completed linking all the reaction roles, simply type done and then it will have created it. So as you can see here, we have our reaction roles added where if I select the blue whale, it'll change my username to blue. And if I unselect it, it changes it back to gray. Now, if I select yellow, it'll do the same thing. We're changing my username to yellow. And it does this throughout the server in text channels everywhere. All right, so that's how you make reaction rules on Discord. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Discord tips and tutorials, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Engaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.